The human mind is much like a rechargeable battery. A fully charged battery will be able to be fully functioning and fulfilling its duties as a simple battery. But a depleted battery or a depleted human brain will need recharging or rehabilitation. And a brain that has gone or a human that has gone through severe trauma or through severe stress for a duration of time has the higher chances of developing bipolar disorder or bipolar depression. And having to live with bipolar depression, I would best describe it as episodes of extreme highs and extreme lows and having to stabilize that so that you can carry on with your life. But tonight's goal is to provide enlightenment of three certain steps that will help you flourish in fulfilling a successful life. And if not for yourself, but hopefully to gain a better understanding for a loved one that may be going through an episode themselves. And those three steps would be to take medication as directed, seek help through a trusted therapist, and take on the responsibility of taking care of your physical health to take care of your mental mind. The first step of adhering to a doctor's medical advice on medication is to simply take it. People are made up differently and may have different reactions to different medication, but that's what a doctor is for, is to help guide you through this process. And with taking the correct medication and taking it correctly, you will regain cognitive thinking and you will regain a recharging of your brain battery. On July 15th, BP Magazine released an issue by Kay Redfield Jameson, PhD of John Hopkins University School of Medi Medication, saying that the number one action is to stay on medication. And she herself saw a huge improvement in her symptoms. And when she regained the control of her symptoms, she was able to regain her creativity and her thought process back enormously. But in order to work with a doctor on your medication, you also have to work in tandem with a trusted therapist. And seeking therapy will help tremendously because it's gonna help on a moral standpoint of view and be able to guide you through decisions of life and be able to vent and talk to someone that you trust that isn't so much relatable to your life. In the psychotherapy trials for adults with bipolar disorder, Holly, Holly A. Schwartz, a professor of psychiatry, released a study that somebody with bipolar disorder one that sought family focused therapy for one to two years noticed a reduced chance of rehospitalization from 60 to 28 percent and that's tremendous if you're having to go in and out of the hospital to seek treatment but along with seeking help from a doctor and a trusted therapist, you also have the responsibility of taking care of your physical health. Because remember, to take care of the, your physical body is also to take care of your mental mind. And if you exercise, you'll re be able to regain the right motivation in order to live everyday life, as well as eating healthy. Because what you are is what you, what you eat is what you are. In a medical review by Timothy J. Legg on December 6, uh, 2019, he stated, he stated that exercise is the opposite of sedimentary behavior. It reduces health problems such as managed weight, the reduced risk of diabetes and heart attacks and overall anxiety. With the three steps of being able to 
take medication correctly, seeking therapy on your own conditions and terms, and taking on the responsibility of taking care of your physical body, you should be able to see huge improvements of being able to live everyday life with bipolar depression. And with that, you should be able to feel like you can live a successful life and you're not always having to feel the lows of being tied, of tying you down, essentially. I know this has helped me tremendously, and I hope that these three steps will either help you or, like I said, help, help you understand somebody else that is going through this in their own terms, in their own mental health journey.